So we came through our snow from earlier in the day, probably put you back a little bit in terms of scheduling, uh, but we're going to get through it and we have a little bit more snow in the forecast. First though, let's go down and uh, check in with Kevin Yard in St. Catharines. All right, thanks very much, Kevin. Of course, uh, earlier in the week we got through the, the big snowfall. In some cases we saw 40 centimeters of snow, which was a lot, which is the biggest snowstorm we've seen so far this year. But nothing compared to this, because we have uh, seen some huge amounts of snow in eastern Canada. Pretty amazing stuff. Let's take a look. It makes our 40 centimeters seem like child's play, right? This overnight minus 16, feeling like in the minus mid 20s. So we don't have that much more snow to come with this. But nevertheless, down to actually where Kevin Yard is, uh, down in this area, uh, St. Catharines, uh, they're declining. And we have a couple of lows, a clipper and also a nor'easter moving through Atlantic Canada. Would you believe Moncton? So we just looked at those big snow banks. We're going to add another 20 centimeters on top of that. Yeah, tomorrow. Oh, okay, Sundays. So we definitely have colder temperatures on the way and some unsettled conditions here. The early start of next week looks to be bright at least and tomorrow's high is minus 12. Whenever a big snowstorm comes through, the good in people comes out, doesn't it? Maybe in your neighborhood, your neighbors come out with their snow blowers. I know that happens in my neighborhood and I'm very grateful for it. Kelly is in Hamilton talking to some good Samaritans. Okay, thanks so much, Kelly, for that. Let's get into your forecast details now because we have a little bit more in terms of snow to come in chills overnight. So it's definitely a cold one. We've got more snow down into the Niagara region than around the GTA proper and also through eastern Ontario. But the cold front has passed, and so we're definitely looking at colder temperatures now setting up through the afternoon, through the overnight, and a good clearing is happening. In fact, uh, for the next couple of days, we've got fair weather in terms of sky conditions. The temperatures will be cold. I want to mention Atlantic Canada because we have over uh, 100 30 centimeters in some cases in New Brunswick. Uh, we're adding another 20 on top of that, if you can believe it, from another low pressure system. A couple of clippers coming through to our south. We'll have to watch that. And the, we have some flurry activity expected here. We'll have to watch to see whether or not we get any big time accumulations. Across southern Ontario today, we've got a little bit more snow to come, and there will be slightly higher totals down in the Niagara Peninsula versus what's happening around the GTA proper. And Kevin is right in the thick of all the snow down in St. Catharines. Let's check in with him. Nice. <laughs> all right. Thanks very much, Kevin. Uh, we have actually a little bit more snow to come and also some colder temperatures. That's what, one of the things that's setting up with this particular pattern that we're in. We've seen a lot of snow in Hamilton, and that's where Kelly is. On and off flurries throughout the rest of the day in southern Ontario. And we're in Hamilton. Oh, back to you. Thanks very much, Kelly, our snow angel, and maybe you can be too. Yeah, you're going to want to help your neighbors, uh, but we're not looking actually at very much snow left in the GTA, but certainly down into the Niagara area where Kevin was, yeah, you know, we could be looking at another five, uh, three to eight centimeters of snow. So yeah, that's uh, enough to shovel, right? But we do have cold temperatures on the way. As the slow moves away, the cold front passes, and we do have colder temperatures setting up for the weekend too. Also, another system expected for the weekend could bring us a Again, another 10 centimeters on Saturday. I just want to mention Atlantic Canada because we've had so much weather. Over 100 and I think it was 132 centimeters in Moncton from last week to now. And the snow banks are actually over our heads in some cases across the east. But we're going to add more snow on top of that. We do have some snow in our forecast as well. Thank you so much for that, Kim. And hopefully the snow that we have experienced did not set you back too far in your schedule. One person who always seems to get to his destination is Kevin Yard, and he is in St. Catharines. Thank you so much for that, Kevin. And earlier today, Kelly was in Hamilton. Of course, we know Hamilton has received a lot of snow as of late. Let's check in with her. All right, thanks very much, Kelly. Well, Hamilton is not set to see that much more snow. One to three more centimeters. Ah, oh, but then as you head down towards St. Catharines, where we saw Kevin, yeah, another three to eight is quite possible throughout the day and southeastern Ontario and Quebec still getting some snowfall. But off goes the low pressure system. May see, um, or certainly we will see, colder temperatures setting up. Overnight, we're back into those wind chills in the minus mid-teens. We've also got another nor'easter, if you can imagine, for eastern Canada. 20 more centimeters in Moncton, New Brunswick, which is uh, not going to bode well. There's not that much more snow to come with our low pressure system, our clipper system that has been moving through. Although down in the Niagara area, it's possible that we could be picking up maybe another three or eight centimeters of snow. And that's exactly where Kevin Yard is in St. Catharines. Let's check in with him. All right, thanks very much, uh, Kevin. Let's turn it over to our forecast and see what is going on. Well, 
With regard to the snowfall, how much more is there to come? Well, generally across the really the bulk of the 401 at this point, less southeast Ontario as well as southern Quebec, today is a day to get some snowfall in Ottawa and Montreal. But uh, yeah, it's cold fronts passing through, brings us colder temperatures. This clipper is moving through it, adding insult to injury after all the snow we've seen. Um, now we get some snowfall for us on Saturday. It's Cheryl Cliff and Jacqueline Woodall in with you midweek. It's a Wednesday. Pacific moisture grows an avalanche risk. We'll talk about that and a warm up also for at West, but not before we see some snow. That'll target Alberta. And looking long range ahead for Ontario, what we can expect. Let's dig into this West Coast story. Not a great situation, Cheryl, for the ski resorts this no, year. No, and the reason it's not a good good thing, actually, this pattern set up, is because the snow levels are rising so significantly. So we put this together to show you there's Mount Washington on Vancouver Island, and then there's Whistler. When we look at over the next you know, day or so, the freezing levels. Watch what happens as this sets into motion at alpine level for these ski resorts in yeah. the coastal range. And I learned, because we don't live there, we're in Ontario here, our headquarters, that a lot of these places don't make snow because normally they get such an abundance of snow. Some so do and some don't. Some do and some don't, yeah. yeah. All right, let's continue the story. Uh, we're going to go to this avalanche potential because as we get into the week, we're going to be seeing uh, maybe this climb up to high. A lot more risky territory if you're making any, uh, you know, drives through those passes. Let's go to Alberta because we have some snow on the way. Maybe not so much in Calgary, but we do for Edmonton. Let's check in with Deb and see what it's like in Calgary. Will do, Deb. We've got some snow on the way for Edmonton. We're looking at 5 to 15 on Thursday, another 5 to 10 expected on Friday, too. And just a series of systems moving on the West Coast. So that accompanied with the, wa the warmer air mass, not going to be good for that avalanche potential and a lot of rainfall and then the snow for Edmonton. Let's go to Kelly. She's in Hamilton. On and off flurries throughout the rest of the day in southern Ontario. For now, back to you. <laughs> well done, Kelly. Cute. All right, so a little bit of snow, just a dusting. Some areas could see three to eight centimeters along the lakes. And really, uh, the next big storm, though, is for the East Coast. Another round of it. Thursday and a Friday, they could get hit hard again. And on Saturday in Toronto and Hamilton, we might see about 10 centimeters of snow headed in that direction as well. So we're in a, an unsettled pattern, to say the least. That's right. One clipper after another. And remember, this all begins on the West Coast with that Pacific moisture making its way over the Rockies and then beelining for the Great Lakes. We'll be back with much more. And Deb Lethbridge is expected to hit five degrees. Medicine Hat at minus three, Coronation minus eight, and further north, Fort McMurray minus 11. But notice the sunshine. The day part is pretty good, but we will see some snow starting to develop here. No. So Edmonton, yes, five to 15 centimeters of snow expected Thursday, and it will continue on Friday, adding likely another five to 10 on top of that. So when we look back into BC's interior, there is some snowfall for the time being, but we are setting up a very wet pattern over the next many days, lots of rainfall on the way for the BC coast. Look at this, I mean, Vancouver nearing, especially the North Shore, we're up into the you know 120 millimeter range. That's because we have the Pineapple Express setting up. When this happens, the snow levels rise significantly. That increases the avalanche danger, uh, but it also results in not the greatest of conditions for ski resorts. Those who make snow, it's okay, but those who rely on natural snow, it's not so great. Uh, when we look at our snowfall forecast in Ontario, on the other hand, we do have less than three centimeters coming through uh, Toronto, but Ottawa and Montreal, a snowy day today. But now we have another clipper system that is making its way toward Ontario. So a little bit of snow that we have today moves away. We see some decent conditions the next couple of days, and then this low comes in and brings us some more snow. Also want to mention that uh, for our Atlantic um, friends, we do have more snow on the way. Moncton, 123 centimeters, or 132 rather, centimeters of snow in the last week, and we may add another 25 plus on top of that tomorrow. There's the pattern. It is unsettled. We have that nor'easter to contend with on Thursday across the east, and the Pineapple Express, the stormy conditions, persist from Thursday into Friday for the B.C. coast.